it's time. All right, here we go. The cocktail show. Get ready to have a good time. Let's have a good time. This is exciting, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Hello, testing, testing, testing. Welcome aboard the Dreamliner. It's the only way to fly. Wow. <laughs> I've allotted one hour for recreational activity. There's no time for a relevant conversation. Fun will now commence. Cocktail show. Gary, Gary, Gary. Here's a young speaker who is really in demand. Don't let that go to your head, Gary. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I'm four, the guy. Thank you, guy. Three, two, one, zero. Welcome to the Gary Meyer Show Cocktail Hour Live. 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 Cocktails. Woo. Drinks. We're streaming live at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central, on Friday, March 29th, 2024. As we head into Easter weekend on this Good Friday, remember that Monday is the 1st of April. And as Gary says, I am on alert on April 1 every year. And as soon as I hear something going sideways from somebody, I'm, yeah, okay, yeah. stop right there. I know this is April Fool's. So remember that some extra skepticism could come in handy on Monday. And if you have an important announcement or, say, a new product or service you plan to launch, maybe you ought to hold that till Tuesday. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Disappeared. Anyway, of course, no matter where you are, it's time for a digital mimosa. The best way to watch this show is the Gear Force Live YouTube channel. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Subscribe to the Gear Force Live YouTube channel. More eyeballs. It's a good thing. Please like and share the show on all the social media channels. Comments during the live show, wherever we are streaming, can be seen in our virtual studio. We may show them on the screen and or talk about them. Ooh. And that's it. Now, fasten your seatbelts, it's time to go wheels up on the Gear Force Live! 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 Here we go! The following may be disturbing on America's podcast. Boom! Shaka Laka! Hey, G. Miller as the Beaver, how are you? Welcome to our Great Friday show. And as God said, look what they did to my boy. This is a short one today. And we know you have East stuff or whatever you do this weekend. Get your April Fool stuff ready for Monday. Or we're going to give you a shorty and then you can go about your business. So let's get started. We got one more thing. I have to kick the tires, light the fires. One more thing would be Leslie removing her condom. Hello. Finger guns, everybody. I got a Oyster Bay Chardonnay today. Uh, I know it's a day of fast and abstinence, so I've had one meal today. Uh, I'm going uh -oh. to take it easy on this stuff because it's going to go straight to my head, but looks like we've got a head on this. Okay, we'll find out. It, I, had, I, I didn't think it did. I, when you said <laughs> it looked a flat and boom. Ah. Yep. Um got to get some new condoms. I'm down to the last two or three, so I will restock. And I think maybe this one's lost some of its resistance here, so it might just not be building up the way it should. Might All right. Be. Well, we'll get some. We'll, we will. We'll have a fresh supply. We have to set the table for the giveaway. Oh, uh, first of all, Keliana's is checking in. My earlier comments missing again. Yeah, we were looking a few minutes ago. I didn't see anything, but she's here. Happy Easter. My schnauzer can't wait to have Polish sausage again. Fish sticks dropping in tartar sauce gets old. All dripping. Right. Is she had to clarify dripping, not dropping. dropping. You said dropping. dropping, which is how she wrote it originally, but uh, do <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Do okay. Uh, it's dripping, not dropping. So, no, all right, Kayla, sorry. All right, and uh, why don't we grab a bunch of comments right now? I'm seeing Greg on the comment section doing all kinds of Good Friday humor. Did you see some of those go by, Leslie? <laughs> uh, they they made me just a touch uncomfortable. A couple of them. Yeah, <laughs> I, be careful. Greg, you be you. That's fine. All right, uh, Martin, British Columbia, always here. Happy Easter, Martin. Thank you. And Brian from Oh Yes, the only weekend we're eating a frosted crucifixion cross cake doesn't seem that weird. <laughs> okay. Hot cross buns. 
cross buns, one a penny, uh, two uh, penny, hot cross buns. Uh, uh, do you remember that song, kids? No, I do not. <laughs> uh, oh, here we that go. Was good. <laughs> uh, every Friday is a good Friday. Yeah, on the cocktail show, we consider everyone a good one until further notice. And then here we go. Uh, let's ask the guy nailed to the cross if he's having a good Friday. There's one. And do we have them in succession there? Oh, here we go. Hey, Peter, I can <laughs> see your house from up here. Uh, don't go outside. There might be lightning, Greg. I ask myself when I'm in doubt here, what would Jesus do? Then I remember he got his, uh, okay. 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 <laughs> That's what I mean. I got a little uncomfortable in there, just a little bit. Schnauzer? I hardly knew her. <laughs> All right. And Dale, Wheatfield, Indiana, wishing everyone happy Easter. Ears first. Eat those chocolate ears first. Sammy. Oh. Sammy checking in. Hello. And stick say. So from we Frank like Earth. the, oh, um, are we solid? Chocolate bunnies, or do we like the hollow chocolate bunnies? Who's who's? Uh, it, it, really, uh, do you need that much chocolate? You might want to go hollow. Uh, Stick yes. Save said something about the yeah, the, color your schnauzer for the bunny. Your yeah, schnauzer. You All right. And we did Samantha like the Easter bunny. Is your schnauzer okay? Well, yeah. All right, uh, Kevin. And uh, enjoy the short hop. Yeah, you got to get it all in in the next few minutes. Mac, National Mac from Queen Creek AZ. Let's dye some eggs and hop around just like Jesus. Oh, my God. The Jesus jokes. Yeah. Folks, Stop folks. it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, a lot of solid bunny lovers out there. Good for you. Karen from the hometown of Bettenhausen Automotive. Hello. And Catherine, all right. Sandy, hello. Is Johnny here or is he doing the Stations of the Cross for the last time? I don't know what Johnny was up to. He got some hot cross buns this week and was uh, enjoying that. Let's see. What was the latest I heard from Johnny? Um, have a great night. Good Friday. Uh, wanted to share. He's got an Easter basket that he's put together. Uh, he's going to go Saturday morning for mass. And uh, he's, yeah, he's got some, okay. some Easter stuff set up for himself. He already had his uh, Easter bun butter bunny a uh, couple of weeks already. Yeah. Ryan, our Wisconsin reporter is on his way to Branson to see some kind of Titanic exhibit. And he recorded a little Easter greeting, which will play. A few, a few a minute minutes ago, he, he sent us a photo from the road. Did you see it? No. Uh, I'll share it here on the screen. Let's see. White claw. Oh, oh great. <laughs> uh, terrific. <laughs> that, oh, oh, come on. Oh, boy, that doesn't even look good. <laughs> Uranus fudge fat. Golly. You know, you may as well. Oh, look look at this. Did you see the slogan? The best fudge comes from Uranus. <laughs> exactly. Uh, wait, where did I'm he say that? I'm doing white cloth, black cherry Eureka. flavor in a in a glass that Alan sent me. Nice. Air Force logo, yeah. It's black cherry, but it's clear. Yeah. That's Go figure. Uh, Lloydster, last time I had hot cross buns, it cost me $200. <laughs> and Brenda, Tennessee, it's gorgeous there. It's good to know. Ross, and it's at an exit. I guess the fudge place is at an exit, which even better, huh? Uh, right at exit uh, for Eureka. Eureka, I found yeah. Uranus. Oh, all right. I see Cindy was on there. She says, yeah, we got a short hop today. Enjoy it. Okay. All right. So speaking of which, should uh, before we show the video, should we uh, set up the, yes. the giveaway? Let's yes. Let's do that it's, before it gets too late. Um, it's going to be, and let's give the phrase away in a few minutes. We don't have to line that up yet, but the, here are the prizes. Uh, so from our favorite house band, Oh Yes, we've got an Oh Yes koozie, a guitar pick, and a bracelet. We've got uh, something new from Ryan. He sent me some stickers, and this is I Love ASMR. Uh, so hopefully 
you're yeah. into that yeah. sort of Talk thing. Talk like that. Yes, that's yeah. what that is. And that's what ASMR is. Um, from Tracy from Wisconsin, we've got our usual ball liquor okay. and a bendable. Yeah. Uh, Tracy also from last year sent us these really cool slime eggs. So I had one left and of course, Easter, you should have a slime egg. Of course. Um, some matches from Alcatraz. That's from uh, Scott. Uh, we've got a candy necklace because that looks so special at Easter time. Um, got some cool removable tattoos. Alan's super cool refrigerator magnet. And the prize that started it all, your very own wine condom. Yep. And this there one's it is. fresh. Okay. Somebody's going to get all that in just a few minutes. And we have photos, right, Alan, that I sent you? Yeah, I have the photos you sent me. That I got from listeners, viewers. And if you want to put them up, I'll do the commentary. Okay, here's a <laughs> nice little Easter display, Godzilla eating peeps. That's nice. Those and would be giant peeps if this was scale. Yes. And inflatables for Easter. Somebody sent me this. This is down in Florida. Is this not necessarily, is it Easter or is this, this Ramadan? Is Ram, this is Ramadan. Yeah. So How about happy it? Ramadan. Now, inflatables for Ramadan. That's too much. Now, <laughs> this one blew over and it looks obscene <laughs> now. It looks like the car from the ambiguously gay duo of Saturday Night Live fame. <laughs> All right. Can you read that caption? No. You know... Alan, can you read the caption for us, please? Here, I'll make it bigger for you, Gary. <laughs> That's what she said. All right. Uh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. You know what we need to do? We need to get the fuck out of <laughs> we here. We need to... <laughs> That's what <laughs> we need to do. We need to get... Get F out of here. We need to get that because they're looking at Jesus nailed to the cross. Yeah. Yeah, that would make you change your mind. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do here, folks. It's crazy time. Keep going. You don't want to spend any time on this planet. So do you want to hear my annual story about uh, the science of crucifixion and how you actually die? It's a very, I mean, golly, those people came up with some horrible torture because uh, you can't put the nail in the palm because it would slide right through. So they would nail you through the wrist, actually, to make know. it extra painful. And then you would hang. And eventually, you uh, you don't just die from starvation or anything. Uh, you you stop being able to breathe. So oh. good times, and, everybody. And that's the I first learned that image, in science class. You learned that in science. That's the first image you see when you walk into a Catholic church. And right there, you're already embalmed. Now, that has to hurt, because I know when I get snow, on the back of my wrist, how yeah. that feels, yeah. let alone a nail being driven in. Yeah, but that way yeah. you don't slide off. And they want to keep you uh, keep you up there as long as they can. Yeah. All right. And are those all the pictures, Alan? Yep, that's what you sent. Okay. You want to play the Ryan greeting? Sure. Wisconsin, yeah, hey. Hey, everybody, it's Ryan from Wisconsin. Happy Easter. It's not my usual backdrop as we're headed for a little spring break action in Branson. I'll be back next week and highlight some of the crazy people I've run into or weird things that happened to us on the trip. Again, happy Easter, and we'll all talk soon. Uh, speaking of ships that went awry, I saw the governor of Maryland today describe, and we love this, he described the length of that ship as the size of the Eiffel Tower. Oh. Yeah. Because, yeah, we like those yeah. comparisons. Right. Otherwise, we can't figure out how big things are. Is that half a football field or is that almost yeah. a full football? Is it, <sighs> is it a, an Empire State building? How big is it? I can't really <laughs> tell. Uh it, it's at the point now, and I, I commented on this on our T show today. Just send the equipment and start chopping the bridge up and clear it out, and stop with this. Oh, this is a big 
project. This is going to take, okay, I get it. You're going to have to cut the bridge up and, okay, get going. What, don't tell me how hard it's going to be. This isn't the 1800s where everything's steam powered. Let's go. Now, the mayor of Baltimore is kind of tired of all the armchair quarterbacking. Oh. And, you know, he's got people working with him who have engineering degrees. And he bets that a lot of the people who are calling him out have never taken a, uh, an engineering class. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I don't need to take I think an it. Was en- took in, it was the word. Took he- in. Did they took in any engineering? Have you ever I taken a class? All I know is a giant ship hit a bridge. It collapsed. Now it's all in this major waterway lane. And let's go to clean it up. That's all you need to know. We have equipment now. I've seen big ships all over the place, cranes and things. Oh, it's going to be very tedious and time consuming. There's a lot of bridge underneath the water. <laughs> Okay, I, I get okay. it. Who's in charge here? Let's go. All right. Less this and more this. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's. We got. <laughs> we got to have guys that have cutting tools and cranes and. We put the Empire State Building up yeah. in eight months. Eight but months. I just. I just want to laud all the first responders. Uh-huh. Um, but Everybody we should do that one more job. time. We haven't done that yet this hour, but uh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, okay. uh, everybody's doing a great job making $75 an hour with Benny's. And uh, we <laughs> want to thank Everybody's thanking everybody for doing their job. That's where we're at. <laughs> thank you for that report. I liked when all the anchors were down with the bridge, the collapsed bridge in the background the day la- after. David, my favorite, Mr. Muir. And all the other anchors, they're just standing there for no reason. They oh, ran over okay. to stand there by the bridge. You could have sit, sat in the studio in New York and said all this. I, why do you need to be there? Are you going to start chopping the bridge up? And you know they're standing shoulder to shoulder. Oh, yeah. It's like they put the... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Such heroes. Such heroes. How do they do it? How do you go to Maryland and stand about a mile away from the wreckage? How do you do it for you, $8 million dollars a year? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, I I don't drink hard seltzer. I like my seltzer like I like my math problems. So easy, hard, but, soft. And- yeah. Hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I I don't. There's not much alcohol in these things, right? No. It's. I think I looked it up. It's five percent by volume on most okay. of them, unless you I have like, like one of their super fortified ones. I like wild cherry, and I saw that in the fridge. I like wild cherry. I'll try that. And then do you put vodka in there? Is that how that works? That's probably what I should do, right? <laughs> Otherwise, there's not much of a kick. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, Alan, you want to pay homage to the sponsors since we're doing a half hour show here? And that would be starting with Bettenhausen Automotive. Bettenhausen Automotive is expanding. Join the Bettenhausen winning team today at our new Lockport location opening May 2024. Bettenhausen Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has many positions available, including sales managers, greeters and concierge, sales and service porters, billers, loop technicians, and more. Bettenhausen is hiring for all positions. Send resumes to careers at BettenhausenAuto.com. Your best career change starts now at BettenhausenCDJR.com slash careers. Yeah, that's a great place to work. If you're in that area looking for a job, they've got that that career event coming up next weekend, I believe. And I'll tell you more about that in the coming days. If you didn't hear that, it's on the show every day. All right, uh, Bettenhausen <laughs> and this man are fine sponsors. Uh, David Hochberg will help you with that mortgage. Free consultation. If you call that number, he'll tell you, he'll crunch the numbers for you and tell you how much he can save you because that's what he does. All right. All right. Greg wants to know, or actually says that White Claw, or it's White Claw, right? It's not Red Claw. It's White Claw. Yeah. White Claw. Um, it's White what Claw doctors matters. drink before surgery. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a little nerve steadier. Is that what okay. it is? Okay. So it, it's nice. It takes a little edge off, not much. And it was though, right? it was the favorite drink of Chicago Party Ant when we had those folks on. I remember oh, that. Right. She was always chugging that stuff. Yeah. We've been doing this a long time now, thanks to Alan, who was the guy who said, why don't you do this? And he's been the producer ever since and does an incredible job. Thank you, Alan. Send your resumes to Gary Meyer show at GaryMeyer.com. Wait a minute. Uh, 
any wildlife in walking around your neighborhood in Central Florida? Of course, there was wildlife in my neighborhood walking oh, around in Central Florida. This was a very, very small gator. And uh, uh, in, in a moment, I think, uh, yeah, there we go. It decided uh -huh. to just take off. <laughs> but you can sort of see how small it is by uh, how, how uh -huh. much it struggles in the waves. It's, it's everywhere, oh, right? I mean, this is in your neighborhood. You just walk down the street and you got all this because it used to yeah, be I was blades. I was over in the park there. This is this is the water retention pond in the center of my community. And I was over there because uh, the United Launch Alliance was supposed to launch the last Delta IV Heavy the other day, uh, and that got scrubbed. But the Gator was almost in the spot I wanted to be to see the launch. Oh, okay. <laughs> not not quite. I don't stand that close to the water for obvious reasons. What is you this Delta thing? You can see where thing? somebody might be lured and... Oh, look how adorable. Let's oh, take it good. home and put it in the you're, aquarium. You're such a good boy. What's this Delta thing you just mentioned? The, the Delta IV rocket, the rocket that they've been launching for about 20 years. The United Launch Alliance is uh, Boeing and Lockheed. They compete with SpaceX for the various launches. I got to see one of those in person. Yeah. Well, the, 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 the Delta IV Heavy is the last of this generation, and then... I, I don't know if they're the ones behind Artemis. I'm I can't keep them all straight. Falcon Nine is is SpaceX, but uh, yeah, they they've all got they've all got increasingly large rockets. Yes, that's what she said. Yes. All right, uh, Leslie, you're going to do what as far as your stories? Um, I, I teased a couple of stories earlier Here. today. Yeah, on before you go, home. let's do the, uh, the the phrase hashtag peeps hashtag peeps in the queue. That's the phrase, the word that pays. And put it in there if you want to try to get that prize package, all right? So I found some other interesting stories. So anything I don't use today, you can listen for on Monday because we will be doing a show then. Uh, but here, poor J-Lo, man. You know, one would think that Jennifer Lopez is sitting on top of the world, but that's currently not the case. The superstar has been forced to cancel a number of summer tour dates for lack of interest. Despite spending millions of dollars of her own money to finance her new album, This Is Me Now, um, along with an accompanying documentary film, the reviews have been less than stellar. In its first week, the album debuted on the Billboard 200 at number 38, and it's been going downhill from there. This Is Me Now has gone off the charts completely, and not in the good way. It's it's just gone, hence the cancellation of those concerts. Says a source close to J-Lo, quote, she can't perform to a stadium with tons of empty seats. Okay, but she's got that great husband who has a very great demeanor to lean on He's always in a good mood, Ben Affleck. Oh, yeah. I'm sure when she needs a shoulder to cry on, he, like, offers to get somebody to come over oh. and be that for her. This oh, must be God. killing her because you've got Taylor Swift, who's just printing money, and Beyonce, if you paid any attention about this new song album, she just put out a country album, and she's getting a ton of publicity. And you're sitting at home, you're J-Lo, and you don't have any of this going on. Ben, yeah, ben, 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 he picked the wrong time to stop drinking, as they said in the movie. <laughs> a YouTube influencer who goes by the name Your Fellow Arab has allegedly been kidnapped in Haiti and is being held for ransom. The YouTube star, whose real name is Addison Malouf, uh, was reportedly on his way to meet and interview the Haitian gang leader named Barbecue, but he never made it. Within hours of arriving on the island, he was reportedly taken hostage by a rival gang and is now being held for $600,000 ransom. In his last video, Malouf explains that he and his crew had secured safe passage, but, quote, all it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK-47 for things to go wrong. What you just said there at the end is redundant. One stupid gang member holding an AK-47. You just That was all redundant. <laughs> you don't have to say anything besides gang member. One gang member can yeah. throw it all. Yeah, yeah. It's, all the other things we know. And, you know, it, you got to know that maybe this is a little fraught since you call 911 in Haiti these days and one of those gang members picks up the phone. What do you yeah. want? Who is it? <laughs> don't call here again. Why and did this finally, guy go down there? Uh, to interview Barbecue. 
I guess that's his thing. Like he goes into areas where uh, others see danger. He sees entertainment. So he's okay. interviewed um, like drug cartel leaders and came back with his head still attached. So I think maybe uh, his boldness finally caught up with him. Yeah. Everybody else has to worry. Not him. No, no. He, he stares danger in the face. And I'm an influencer, away. God damn it. Don't yeah. you know that? Yeah. Does he have a vest like the press has when they go to these war areas? It says it's press, a, he's got influencer. Influencer. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, it takes up more of the back, though. Um, and finally, yes, Louis Gossett Jr. passed away today. But this is the big celebrity news. Punk Satani Phil is a dad. He and his partner Phyllis just gave birth to a pair of baby groundhogs, much to the surprise of their caregivers. An official at the Punk Satani Memorial Library Zoo says the new arrivals caught everyone off guard. Quote, when we went to feed them their fresh fruits and vegetables, we found Phyllis with two little baby groundhogs. We had no idea she was pregnant. They're the... Uh, it, it is rather surprising when you find out that these are the first baby groundhogs born at the zoo in over a century. More like fucks a Tony Phil. <laughs> yeah, baby. But he, his face remains neutral throughout. I don't imagine him being very emotive. He's not so polluted he can't have babies. That's nice. <laughs> oh, he's definitely not that. Is that something that will indicate a season change when a groundhog has babies? Do we get any kind of weather forecast out of that maybe you know spending some extra time down in his little you know groundhog hole gave him and phyllis uh, more time to shake off the cold perhaps that's right all right and that's it i, I think so we said we were going to do a shorty like i said those stories that i teased on the uh, morning show i'll be using those on monday so okay. they'll hold all right. Uh, you want to hit the computer button, Alan, and give away stuff? We've, we've only got six entries. I've been flashing well, it on I, the I, screen. Yeah, listen, that's why we only did a shorty, because we knew this would interfere with people's but I, Easter but week. But I, I do want to say, uh, you know, we've been pushing subscribe to the Gear Force Live channel on YouTube. Uh, the last couple of days, we've been hovering around 1,000. Right now, we've got that 1,000, which is, uh, is a tough number on, on YouTube. So thank you to those who've subscribed. And if you haven't, Get over to Gearforce Live on YouTube and subscribe. It really helps the channel. It circulates the channel more if we've got subscriptions. That's more well, than Jay. On top of that, it? for those of you who are watching on Facebook, we've had some glitching going on with Facebook. So by watching through YouTube, you're actually doing us a favor and probably yourself too. So please. Well, and, and yesterday, and yesterday when I created the virtual studio for this week's show, StreamYard shared a message that said Facebook was having major problems and may not be putting us out live. Now I see we are on Facebook today, so that glitch must have been resolved. But Facebook is glitchy and YouTube is the place to be because we've had the least problems with YouTube in the... Uh, three and a half years we've been doing this on on on, uh, on Fridays. All right. Let's, All right. Uh, we're going to get witchy here. Well, you hopefully aren't glitchy and hit that button. Here we go. You got music? I'm looking for it. It's already over. I think you're a <laughs> Wow. Hey, that'll happen. Look at it. Cody. Yeah. Cody. You. All right, Sandy. Uh, Alan, tell Sandy what to do. Sandy, uh, you can send a direct message on Facebook to Gary, or you can email Gary Meyer Show at GaryMeyer.com or text 773-888-2157. Regular charges apply, and all those goodies that Leslie's holding up over in the corner there. Let's let's make Leslie back in the in the screen yeah. here. All those all those goodies she's holding up, uh, they'll be on their way ver via the United States Postal Service when she and they get around to it. <laughs> All the goodies. Usually so. by midweek. Um, so last week's winner, I guess, should be getting their prize either later today or early tomorrow. So yeah, okay. I'm pretty. Uh, there pretty it all is. It'll them. get there eventually. Goodies is a word that Pat Sajak uses when they're doing the, the final wheel spin for that bonus thing. Did I'm you see that, that guy? He's thinking of that old... from... oh. What's that? I was going to say he's thinking of that old ceramic dog that people got if they couldn't spend all their winnings in the uh, in the prize room back in the day. Remember the prize room? 
The original oh, versions, sweet. the original, yeah. yeah, yeah. The early versions of Wheel of Fortune, even when Sajak was hosting, they, they couldn't keep the cash. They had to spend it. And they always ended up having to get the ceramic dog because it usually took the rest of the balance. Wow. How far back is that? Uh, 70s, 80s? 80s? Yeah, 80s. Yeah. There was a guy on this past week who got the puzzle with one letter up. I think even Pat was wondering how it was. The, Gla the, Glacier the, Bay, Alaska. Glacier Bay, Alaska. <laughs> there was one letter up. Wow. And this guy got it. I mean, come on. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm doing, watching Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> watching the wheel go. As John Lennon sang, watching the wheel go round and round. Oh, so he was probably watching at that time and going, why can't they just keep the money? And why do they have to do the shopping when they could just right. get the money? Right. Take the money. I'm just here. Maybe he was inspired by that. Was wheel on in 1980? Yeah. It's been on that I long, think Chuck right? Wool, I think Chuck Woolery might have been hosting back then. Yeah. So Lennon, that's how he got the inspiration for watching <laughs> the wheel go round, <laughs> and, go round and round. Watching the wheels. Yeah. All right. Now we solved that. Okay. How many times that, have we said you watch our show, you listen to our show, you can get college credit for the information that you get oh here. Oh my God. All right. That's it for this one back on Monday. Hope you have a great Easter if you celebrate such a thing when our Messiah rises again in a couple days. Woohoo! Here comes the cannoli down the aisle. It's delicious. Mm -mm. Take it. It's complimentary. What about the schnauzer, the Easter Don't schnauzer? Don't go stuffing your schnauzer with a bunch of peeps because they do expand. And oh, that would be that's yeah. not a good thing. All right. Three in the green. Gear is down. Flaps are down. The Voice of the Globe, America's podcast, the Gear Force has landed. And that's it for all the news and nonsense here at the Gear Force. If you like that, I got other stuff I think you're going to like. This is the Gear Force. Thanks for streaming. Like, subscribe, and be kind. But no need to rewind. It sure would be terrific if you subscribe to the Gear Force Live YouTube channel. More eyeballs. If you are watching this show recorded, that button is right here. And if you'd like to look at past episodes, try that button. Boom. Shaka laka. That's it. All right, how do you shut this thing off?